If you find all this commonplace, what about a bit of black magic? There's not as much about it as there used to be in the days when Rosalind Norton had this notice on her door. And a chemist hung out a notice one night, gone to mass, black, in half an hour. But Rosalind Norton herself, the most famous witch in Sydney, still has faith in her powers. If you look in any night at the Apollyon lines at the cross, Apollyon, by the way, was the archangel of the bottomless pit, you might find Rosalind Norton as Suzanne Baker did. Rowie, um, people always associate you with witchcraft, and some people even say they think you are a witch. What have you got to do? Well, I'll say think about that. <laughs> They're right round around the lagging behind the, the, uh, the publicity that I've had. It's, it's, it's that's all I know, I think. Yes, I certainly am a witch. Hmm. Have you always been a witch? Yes, always. How, how did you first realize that you were, you were a witch? First thing was when I was uh, seven, I went up to the uh, blue dots that appeared on my knee. I could make little clothes and I noticed them and wondered what they were. No one saw or anything, I still got them. And funny enough, they're, two, they're the, one of the traditional witches' marks. Uh, two or three blue or red dots together on the skin. It's one of the old traditional witch marks. Hmm. You found that out afterwards, after you had... Oh, them. years later. It appeared when I, was, when, when I was seven years old. But, uh, I know, know how old I was. It was the, the year we came over from uh, New Zealand. Hmm. Is it difficult being a witch? I don't see it as a world would be much more difficult not to be. So what does one have to do to be initiated into the um, ritual? Oh, first, first of all, you have, have to, to, to be sick. I mean, uh, thousands of teenagers, or well, not thousands, no, the Federation, but uh, several hundred, hundred teenagers at least. Oh, at least several hundred uh, over the years. So it's all come along, uh, come along to me, oh, we want to be a witch and say, well, no, do anything. So, oh, no, I God, they want more trouble than they I mean, they obviously just keep uh, looking for a thrill. Uh, it's got, there's got to be somebody who's really serious about it and who's got the talent. They've got the, a natural gift, rather like the gift of drawing or painting. And uh, if, if they really do want it, they're serious about it and they, keep, they persevere. And so, sooner or later, they're put through a series of tests. What are these tests? For uh, well, for, uh, um, a lot of the tests I can't uh, tell you because I they're part of the, the workings of the cult. I remember, sorry, you didn't have, uh, or you don't have a life that, um, say, ordinary people have, like getting married and having children. Oh, gosh, and now I couldn't stand it. I'd go mad. Or go sad. I don't know which one I can't.